goodness, y'all. We hit 400 subscribers, y'all. Oh my God. What you love? Call me when you can. It's your boy Savon Dom back at you again with another YouTube video now guys. Oh my goodness, y'all. We hit 400 subscribers, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is real life crazy. Y'all don't really understand it though. Y'all really don't. Like that y'all really don't know the grind that I've been going on, you know. Y'all might see it because of my recent likes and comments and views, but y'all don't really understand the grinding that I took behind the scenes trying to make sure I have more supporters and stuff, y'all. Y'all don't really understand it for real because this has been a tough road, you know. I started out this mug and I wasn't, you know, getting a lot of views and stuff. You know, I wanted to stop, but, you know, you can't stop, y'all. Y'all can't stop. If y'all got a small YouTube channel, don't stop. You know, it's you know it's all about patience. You're gonna get there eventually. But I want to give a shout out to everybody, my mom that supports me, everybody that helped me out, that girl Maria that helped me out. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, happy birthday, Nigel. Told you I was gonna shout you out, and I got you for that. You know, it's his birthday. That's one of my main supporters. He's been there since day one since I started the YouTube, and he you know stay subscribed and stay watching. So you know, shout out to him. Happy birthday to him. Say happy birthday to him in the, in the chat if you comment. By the way, we hit 500 subscribers. We're going to have a 500 subscriber giveaway, either a $25 Google Play Store card or a $25 iTunes card. Now, with the iTunes card, it's not only for iTunes, it's all it's also for apps and movies and shows. So, I'm going to need you guys to also comment what you guys would want. Would you guys rather want a Google Play Store card or do most of y'all have, have iPhones? Whatever the case is, whoever wins, you get to pick. Just we just got less than 100 to 500 y'all we can do it i'm excited to give y'all this video of how i shatter my ex's iphone so let's hop into it all right so the time that i shattered my ex's phone so in this story we're not going to use names our names her name's going to be emily so me and emily have been together for about two years now so she kept on you know around that time she kept on talking about how her phone was always messing up you know it would always hang up or you know some other stupid excuse that she would always use and i you know me being me and me being happy happy in that you know relationship in that time period i believed it so she kept on saying that well her phone was always dying and i that would always confuse me y'all because i'm trying to sit there and be like how is your phone always dying when you got a charger and you don't ever be nowhere, but you know, at work or, you know, at school, I'm confused, which at both work and school, you have outlets. So I was just really confused. So, you know, all of a sudden we're going to flash forward to this day uh, where it all happened. So we go to Play-Doh's Closet. For those of you who don't know what Play-Doh's Closet is, Play-Doh's Closet is like, it's like a secondhand store, but it's like a, a secondhand store for people to have more money, pretty much. So we go in there. They got, they had so much stuff that day, y'all. It makes me mad every single time that that happened that day because I almost got so much stuff. But anyways, I had found this Paul George jersey, and I was a huge fan of, of PG, you know, before he left. And I also had a Purdue University sweatshirt and i had i think a pair of like joggers or something she had some jeans or whatever but then it was another one of those days y'all where she was like oh my phone was dying so i just turned it off so she was like, okay well hold my stuff so i held her stuff and i held her phone so she steps away and as she steps away i'm like well let me just you know step over here to the side and turn it on and see what's really popping with it so I turned it on and it was at 76%, y'all. That was the first, you know, 
big thing. I'm like, what do you mean? Okay. I, I was like, okay, 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 okay. Maybe she just wanted to turn it off to spend time with me. You know, I'm still giving her the benefit of the doubt because, you know, it's two years, y'all. Two years is not, you know, nothing to play around with. So, then I sat, I sat there and just watched her phone for a minute. And all of a sudden, Lil J has Snapchatted you. I'm like, who's Lil J? And for those of you who don't know, just a quick little background. We didn't have Snapchat. Because with Snapchat, there was too many dudes hitting her up. So just to avoid problems, me and her both agreed on not having Snapchat. I didn't have Snapchat. She didn't have Snapchat. So I walk, I approach her. I'm calm, y'all. I'm calm. So I come up. I'm like, well, who's Lil J and why is he Snapchatting you? And she snatches her phone out of my hand. And she's like, I'll talk to you about it when we get home. I'm like... What do you mean you gonna talk about it when you get home? I'm sitting there like, what are you saying to me? Like, so I'm like, no, we're gonna talk about it now. And she's like, no, I wanna talk about it when we come so you don't make a scene. I said, I think you know me. I think you know that if we don't talk about it now, I will make a scene. So then all of a sudden, I'm like, you know what? I go cool down, but then I get my phone out and I'll call her mom. I'm asking her stuff. I'm like, you know, do you know the dudes that, you know, she was talking to, blah, blah, blah. Do you know yet that she has Snapchat, blah, blah, blah. Her mom didn't know nothing, of course. So then after that, uh, I tried to give her one more chance, y'all. I'm like, you know, are you gonna tell me who those people are? You know, are we just gonna have this problem? And she was like, she started ignoring me then. So y'all, I tried to get her phone. No lie, y'all, she had the, the death grip on that phone, boy. She was like, if she let go of that phone, she was gonna lose some somebody important. No lie, y'all, it was like she was gripping that mug. And I, that's when I dropped all my stuff that I had and I like, I like snatched the phone out of her hand as hard as I could and walked outside. She followed me and she's yelling, you know, give me my phone, give me my phone. You know, this, you know, this is in the middle of the day. You know, there's people driving by outside, you know, the shops and stuff watching. And I'm like, what's your stuff? So I get it and I look at it. Yo, I'm not even her lock screen no more. Those who know who's been in a relationship for a long time know that if you are not the person lock screen anymore that's like like why would i not be your lock screen like that makes you start wondering like you know when you're not around me do you change your lock screen to seem single you know a lock screen is kind of like a ring nowadays you know do you remove your ring when you go out or you know anyways but yeah it wasn't her lock screen no more um and then i went to go you know get into her phone you know i was like, okay i know uh, the password the password is our date no the password was like a four password like a four number thing and i didn't know it and i'm like what is this i'm like what is like what is your password and she's like so i already told you that i already changed my password three uh, like three months ago blah 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 i'm like no you didn't if i, I would have remembered that and if you did change your password why didn't you tell me like that's what didn't make sense to me like you change your password you claim you change your password but why wouldn't you tell me so then after that i'm like look i'm gonna give you one more chance i was like you either gonna unlock it or give me the password or you know you you know you're cheating and stuff and she was like no just give me my phone i was like you gonna stop because she at that time she's like reaching at me like trying to grab me and pull on me and stuff and i'm like look you gonna stop touching on me and stuff and just give me the password or i'm gonna shatter this mug so she's like, she's not believing me. And after that, I, I was past the, when I get to a certain point where I'm that mad, I'm past the point of regret, you know? So then I ended up, yeah, I just, I, I had it like this, y'all. It was like this in my hand and I said, boom, like face down, like, and it didn't bounce. It just went flat right on the face of the phone. So, you know, she picks it up shattered screen protector because it was a it was a thin outer box on it like the slim one and it was the screen protector screen protector was shattered y'all no lie screen protector shattered take the screen protector off phone shattered oh my goodness y'all and it was it didn't even start stop there the motherboard was shattered which means that the phone was trash so she couldn't even get a phone fixed she had to get a whole nother phone so after that i still made her mom take me home I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. After shattering her daughter's phone, I still made her mama take me home, y'all. That's the funny, I always laugh at that because I'm like, I still made your mama take me home. So 
after that, she always wanted me to apologize to her, y'all. She's like, are you gonna ever say sorry for shattering my phone? I'm like, no, because I have no regret. If you would have just took me to the side and let me know what was popping with the Snapchat and stuff, we would have, I would have had a Pacers jersey and a Purdue sweatshirt. You would have had jeans, this, this, and that, but no. You wanted to take the harder route. So I never apologized for that because I was never sorry for that. When you get older, you learn to stop saying sorry for stuff you're not sorry for because it's just pointless. You're not going to mean it. But, y'all, that's that's it, man. And don't look at me like I'm crazy, y'all, because I wouldn't do that now. That's not who I am. That was the older me when I was still going through, you know, problems and stuff. That's just not me no more, y'all. Uh, but, yeah, that's that story is crazy. That's going to do it for me today, y'all. Oh my gosh, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for 400 subscribers. And I got a little message for y'all that I thought I should portray to y'all. I don't do this. Y'all got to understand, number one, I don't make money off of this stuff yet. This stuff is just pure entertainment for y'all. Pure entertainment to lift y'all up. I mean, eventually when I, when I start making money, yeah, of course. I want to, that money's going to be used, you know, buy better equipment, you know, help out around the house and stuff. But it's also going to be to make my videos better for y'all. I do these videos for y'all. Some of y'all, most of y'all don't even know this. Some of the songs that I'll be using in my videos and stuff is copyrighted. And like that X video, I got copyrighted for that video just because I had his song at the end of that tribute. I got copyright for this stuff. That I don't do this stuff and I still don't have a strike yet, y'all. I don't do this stuff for, you know, to get the money and stuff, to get my way to I get the I do this for y'all to uplift y'all, to, you know, give y'all the stories and stuff so y'all can laugh at them or listen to them or, you know, get y'all popcorn and, you know, get ready for a crazy story because that's why I do this to help y'all. So don't ever think that I do this, you know, just to be doing this. That's why I haven't stopped. I would have stopped when I wasn't gaining at 200. I just thought I would let y'all know that I do this for y'all, to help y'all, to better y'all, you know, my stuff is always open, you know, for y'all to hit me up if y'all ever going through something and need help and stuff, because times, you know, times is tough, stuff happened, a lot of stuff has been happening, but anyways, y'all, thank y'all for 400 subs, for real, y'all, that's a huge accomplishment, and literally last week, we was just getting over 300, so, you know, we gained 100 in less than a week, y'all, we can hit 500, we can get this giveaway going for y'all, y'all. But thank y'all so much. Happy birthday, Nigel. Thank y'all, everyone. Let's get ready for these bangers that I got coming up for y'all this summer. You know, state fair, things like the state fair, things like trips, road trips and stuff. Things like, you know, my first day of college and stuff. You know, my first, you know, all this stuff I got planned for y'all. And I'm so excited to bring it to y'all. We in a new era. Let's make some more memories, y'all. I'm Savannah Down and Mountain.